Okay, today I will be showing you guys how to make a text-based game. What is a text-based game? Okay, text-based game is basically like a choose-your-own-adventure. Okay, if you've ever read those books, all you do is you flip through the pages, and it tells you at the bottom, if um, you want to shoot the gunman, flip to page 57. If you want to, I don't know, fucking rape the gunman, flip to page 400. I don't know. What happens, basically, is, um, like, let's see, number one leads this way, number two leads that way. I'm going to teach you how to make a game like that. Not very hard, but not very, like, let's say, what would be the word? Um, it's not very professional, like C++ or another programming language, like C Sharp. I know how to code in C++, but I'm not going to teach you today. I'm going to teach you how to command. Code in command. Command. Whatever. Just command prompt, I guess. Ouch. Fuck my life. Um, mm, my fucking cheek. Anyways, what you have to do is start off by placing at echo off. Okay? Now, what you can start doing is if you want, and you already got the title for the game, you can hit title. Name the game Zombies101 something. Okay. You can also set the color. Colors range in different colors. You can also set background color to font color. I'm going to keep the background black but change the font color to purple. Okay. To do that, type in 0D. Okay. If you want it to be red, 0C. If you want it to be green, it's, um,. Uh, I think it's like 0G or something. I don't know. But purple. Okay. Now what we're going to do is you have to state the main title for your game. Which would be... Let's say... Welcome to this game. And then you can even set like a little border thingy. To make it like appear in like the middle of the page. Uh... Maybe that's equal on both sides. I don't really care. And I'm just going to save it really quick. Wait. Don't forget the pause statement. Pause does is it stops the program from opening up really quick and shutting down. Pause is just keeps it on the screen until you have to push a button. Okay. So we go to... Okay. See, that's what we got so far. Welcome to this game. And if you check in the top corner right there, it says zombies. That's cool. Anyways. It's um just about maybe get this exactly in the middle of the page real quick. Uh, anyways, we'll backspace about one or two. Okay. Okay, we got that done, so we can just get done pausing it. Okay, pause, and if you put a period right after the echo, all it does, it does skips a line. That's all it does. It just skips a line. So be echo, and be choose what you want to do. Okay, then we're going to do that. Echo, let's do that again. Echo, hit 1 equals start game echo echo 2 equals exit now you got that down what you gotta do is right here you're going to hit um, set set is basically you apply a piece of code to a certain variable or you apply certain integers to certain variables Okay, but this today we're just gonna make it so it's the variables aren't preset. The user has to set the variables. So we'll go set p, and we'll go probably var for variable, I guess. Now variable equals equals exactly one. First parentheses hit echo. No, don't even echo. No, don't even do the parentheses either. 
put go to start okay fuck never mind hold on getting ahead of myself set command you have to space it right after the colon so your input won't be smushed up together next to the colon like that it just be nice and flush like that okay now what you have to do is that set var command okay I don't know if it's equals equals or just equals we're gonna start with equals equals first It'd be a lot easier okay if bar equals equals I think it's actually equals <sighs> fuck I don't know it equals one then go to start if var equals equals two go to exit now all you have to do is you have to create like a little gateway start and exit okay always keep exit at the very bottom the last thing you do because what it what this does this gateway is it starts from that line and goes under so if exit is at the very bottom it's just going to go from the end and just drop down to nothing which will basically shut off the program so basically if you want to start it all you would have to do is just go to make sure this works echo it works pause now control s for save now we're going to go down to here hit main unit Okay, see something happened. What happened? What happened? Choose what you want to do. Set var, 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 var. See? Yep, there you go. It was one. Okay, choose what you want to do. Okay. See? We're going to start with this. Push one, it works. Okay. See, command two just exits the game. See? And what you could do if you wanted to is right here under, because it starts from top to bottom, you hit CLS. What CLS does is it clears the screen so you don't have to see all this main menu stuff. See? Right there. Boom. It works. And that's it for today. I All you have to do is just build off this tutorial and basically start creating your own text-based games.